Hey guys, Zach with Blade HQ, and we are at the 2018 SHOT Show. I'm here at the uh, Winkler's Knives booth, and I'm with Jason Knight. Hey man. How you doing? All right, how are Pretty you? Good, man. And uh, we're going to talk what Winkler has going for 2018, and we're talking with Jason because everything on the table is your designs, right? All these are my designs, yeah. Perfect. Um, I have known Daniel and Karen since I was about 15 years old, and I was kind of you know, looking for some new things to do, and they asked me if I'd like to come and, and do some design and do some consulting with them. That was about September, so I was like, heck yeah, it sounds like a great thing for totally. me. And it's, you know, what better way to, to do things like that with, you know, you do it with people you trust. Yeah. You, know, you, you make collaborations, you, you, you work with people that you trust and you like, and I've known them for a long time. Um, so. Yeah, so what do we got on the table? Some of the cool things we got here. So. Um, I designed a lot of knives, and these knives are based on things that I've already done, just newer versions of them, like you know, a new twist on it. So this this first one's called the Pathfinder. So the Pathfinder is based on a knife that I have carried and used from Alaska to Nicaragua. You know, it's kind of a belt knife size knife. It's good for woodcraft or anything that you want to do. You know, a lot of times people just like to have their knife and go, "Ooh, I like that." Oh, yeah, well, it's pretty. <laughs> but I I really love the idea of making knives that are are usable and people are you know they're comfortable with it so man I like this I like to carry this good quality so tools. that's right so this so we offer this in a couple different handle styles this is just black micarta classic you know it's wonderful stuff probably my favorite handle material all the way to doing it with wood this is walnut and then I came up with a new tribal pattern this is like the Maori style which I like I think it's beautiful and uh, just another design element you, you put a little subtle thing on a knife it's just like it just pops yeah and that definitely pops it's, it's beautiful yeah cool thank you yeah no problem and uh what's price range ballpark on those these are um they start at 385 around 385 around 385 cool. right on and they come with a really awesome like a kydex sheath correct? yes all all of these this size knife comes with uh, the felt lined Kydex leather covered sheath yeah. that you can carry upside down, backwards, and sideways. You know, it's kind of a bulletproof sheath, and they've been all over the earth. Cool. Yeah, I was I was definitely drooling on them when uh, when you had them out. I, it's something I think I'm gonna have to figure out how to do. Cool. Cool. <laughs> cool. What else we got here? So this one is the Every Carry, um, and I was calling it Ever Carry, but uh, they changed the somebody when they printed it out in the box it says every carry so it's like okay we'll go with that yeah, yeah that's a new name then <laughs> nice but uh this is another you know just I, I like knives that i can have with me so this is a smaller you know everyday carry knife you know to make it simple and um it you know a lot of times people want to grab a knife and they want to you know stone fist it like that well oh you know what you can do that but nobody's going to use a knife that way anyway so i make it so you can choke up on it here this is something that i like it's a feature you see on all my knives um, you can pinch them. There's always a little sculpting right here at the front. Doesn't matter if it's a kukri or something like this, because uh, you know fine work. Fine work, detail work. So we might get some. Uh, I don't want to call it jimping, but I guess that's what it is. That's what they call it. That's what they call it. <laughs> I'm gonna come up with a better word for that. Love it. So yeah, this is the every carry, and we offer this too. We we do sculpted, handled versions of this. Uh, we do some wood with the tribal on it, and these start around three. Under 350. I know they're under 350. Totally, yeah. Yeah, yeah and, we've, and we've said it a ton in all the videos. If we have a price, it's always ballpark. So yeah. nobody's yeah. going to hold you to it. At least I hope not. Go to the website or... <laughs> yeah, Blade exactly. HQ yeah, check out BladeHQ.com. Yep. Exactly. Cool. Um, so this one is the other one, which we have a name for, but I'm going to change it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was calling it the Jaeger. And I've been I've been doing a knife this this size and calling it the Jaeger for 20 years, but uh, I noticed that a lot of people have that and I think that's cool, so I'm just gonna change it to something else. There you go. Um, this one happens to have that it's like a burlap micarta, which is kind of neat. Yeah. And another knife, you know, it's like a mid size. It's in between the uh, Every Carry and the Pathfinder. Uh, another way I like I like knives to fit in my palm like this. Okay. So it's very comfortable. I can use it. You know, this sometimes people want to try. You can you can wiggle your hand in there if you want, but that's not how it works. So three fingers here, very comfortable, and usable right knife. Palm. And you can turn it anyway. Same thing has the same little pinch right there, like you'd use on a chef's knife. That's where I got that from. Cool. But it's a mid-sized knife, and they're really nice to carry right here in your belt. For sure. They are. Around 360, 360, yeah, close enough. Yeah, close enough. <laughs> so, there's also one that has we do sculpting. This is a pattern um, of 
it's micarta, so it's uh, tan micarta and black micarta. We call it wasp. Okay. I think we have it made specially for us, so the only place you can get it is through Winkler Knives. Right but on. And this has a sculpting on it too. Cool. Now, I want to point out a feature that I, I like to show yeah. people. Oh, for sure. So a lot of times you see a clip on a knife, a swedge, whatever you call it. I do this a lot. Number one reason, it looks cool. But the number one practical reason is it makes the point pointier. And where a knife gets thin, when you increase the surface area out near the thin area, your point is stronger. So that's the, the reality of it. You know, it's, um, it's more durable, but it, man, it looks cool too. Yeah, well, and that's, that's something that I'm seeing here is, is not only do we have a bunch of awesome knives that look great, right, and that are designed to be used, but even down to these little types of features, it's everything seems very intentional. Yeah, everything's intentional. Which is I don't, great. I don't want to put fluff on a knife. I want them to be functional and I want them to be sexy. And you know, I'm known for making curves and all these raised clips and dropped handles and stuff. So I like to incorporate that. Yeah. But they work. It works. It's functional. That's great. So here's some of the crazy stuff. <laughs> um, I have, I like to make all these weird little crazy knives and. Uh, they're kind of hard to make when you're when you're punching holes and drilling holes and filing them in. So now I was like, hey, you know, we got a water gin. I can prototype this thing, and then I can actually make this knife. There you go. So this knife was originally a bottle opener, and I just made it with a big ring hole in it, you know, so you could just swirl it around your finger or something like that. And it's not a wolf or a bear or a dog or a pig. It's whatever you want it to be. But when I started designing it again, I decided to put a blade on it. So it's actually a very comfortable knife. It's easy to carry, you know, it's kind of fun. And then this part opens soda pop bottles. Yeah, all the soda pop you can want. All the soda pop you can want. <laughs> There's another, another one of these concepts, kind of a fun, fun piece I did. Uh, it's like a war bonnet with a skull in it. And it has the chin will open bottles. And then this you could like open nabs or a cardboard box, yeah. or just whatever it may be. Sharpen pencils. <laughs> uh, that's the type of pencil sharpener I think I need. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I like that. Uh, a lot of things. Just you know, the, the fun thing about making these pieces is you never know what your market is. And I kind of know what mine is, and I get sick of seeing skulls all the time on everything. So I put tiger lilies on that knife. Oh, okay. And yeah, the I knife that is actually called the Tiger Lily. That's my daughter's name. Oh, wonderful. But, you know, even like for me, like I like flowers, you know, I like something different. You know, yeah. It's just a fun, you, but we can laser any design. Like we can do original artwork and put it on a knife. It's like That's we did awesome. with the Maori pot pattern or this. Yeah, right to the metal. And, and this knife is designed to go in a zipper pull, you know, like you can, the Kydex together on a zipper pull. So it's an ultra light knife. Okay. And we'll be producing models that have um, a negative space, you know, it'd be like a whatever the pattern is, so they're even lighter. Awesome. Yeah, because all these here, these are happening, but we kind of just show, get a little preview. On yeah, they're, yeah, they're previews. They're gonna, we're gonna change a little bit, just little subtle things that we'll be changing on these, yeah. and then they'll be available also. This is another fun one. Um, I designed this to go kind of behind a badge. You know, if you're in law enforcement or wherever, you can. You could wear that behind your badge and no one would know you had it, but if you needed it, you know, there it right is. there. And the, the ring is not to spin it around, it's just for retention. Yeah. I know a lot of times people have that and they want to spin it and then they sever their artery and <laughs> it's exciting to watch it's, that. Yeah, I, I can imagine. I really quick, don't like Quick to, trip huh? to the ER. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we made this for a special group of guys that we know and uh, this one, these will not be available in this exact way but the shape will be something similar you know, something similar will be right. so we just made these more robust and uh you know it's just a little like a little frog tooth i don't cool. know what else to call it yeah yeah um and that was something else you were saying with these is these all have kind of been inspired by different projects you've worked on different things you've done yeah uh, i can't remember which one when you said one of them was inspired when you're living in new york city for a little while oh right? yeah so in new york um is a mystery as to what knife is legal <laughs> so i lived in new york and i rode my bicycle all over the city and uh, I was like, man, I need a little teeny knife. I was like, oh no, that one's illegal. No, this one's illegal. Well, well this knife only has like maybe a two inch blade. Yeah. And if I wear that on my belt and I'm not doing anything more dangerous than cutting cheese or opening a box with it, it's, it's subtle, you know, you, you, so certain places you can't have, you can't have this knife. Yeah, you can't exactly. carry this knife. I mean, but uh, if you're in a city or somewhere and you want a little tool, you can clip it in your bag or carry it on your belt. Cool. This is a great size, and it's really thin. It's very light. You don't even know you have it. Right on. Thanks for bringing that up. So. Yeah, no, yeah, no problem. Um, well, a lot of great stuff here. We're, I know that we're really excited at Blade HQ for what you guys have coming in 2018. And the final question I have for you, we've asked everybody, what do you got in your pocket? 
What do I have in my pocket? All right. So I have a very rare knife. I think there's only two of them. Me and Mike Zeba have one, and that's it. Cool. So this is one that um, I, we, me and Mike Zeba designed. He's making it. Uh, it's very innovative, I guess you could say, because it's a contoured titanium handle, and then it's hollowed out on the inside. Cool. So keep your eye open for that from him. Yeah, there's going to be some coming There'll be coming some coming, but sometime. They're, you know, they're handmade, so they take a long time. Take a minute. It's really yeah. aggravating. So one of two. <laughs> one of two. That's it. <laughs> right on. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks so much for having us. All right. Us. Thank you, man. Yeah, appreciate right. it. Have a great day. Yeah. So that's all we have from Winkler, guys, but that's not all the Blade HQ has for you. Make sure to check out our 2018 SHOT Show playlist here on YouTube, and uh, keep your eye on what uh, Winkler has going. There's a lot of really great stuff. Thanks. Thank you.